Hey everybody, welcome in. Now, when the stitch tower is here, we're going to get the stitch tower exchange. And I just thought I'd do a quick video about the exchange for the stitch tower so that when we earn all of these coins, these stitch tower coins, uh, you'll know where kind of you want to be putting your aim towards. So I think there's going to be about three different types of people uh, that this will be affecting. So my thoughts, okay, for, for type number one, for players who don't have a strong Gantu and Bubbles, who who are still trying to progress far in the tower. Now, my my personal opinion is that Firstly, you should be putting your energy towards your energy for in villains mode for grinding out uh, Captain Gantu tokens. Now, ad in addition to that, when this stitch tower comes up, if you're progressing through and you still can't progress through enough, spend your tokens on Gantu if, now this is an if, if, you can get him to the next stage. Now you'll see here that I've got 27,000 stitch, uh, stitch tower coins. Now I could potentially buy one of these packs, I could buy one of these packs, and getting both of those is going to get me two tokens, cost me about 15,000 of my, of my coins. I would be able to, after it's refresh, be able to buy one more of these, and, and potentially maybe one more after that. But what 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 that's gonna leave me with is now I've got a halfway gun to I've got no extra rewards for my investment so at the moment it's it's not bringing me any benefit to spend my coins on on him at the moment because I'm at the stage where it's gonna take a lot of coins a lot, a lot of coins a lot of tokens to get me to the next stage uh, star level for Gantu. so. So I'm at this little crossroads, a little interesting point where previously my Gantu is currently five star and now I'm trying to get into six star. If you are lower than five star, you'll be able to get to this the next stages easier and easier and easier. So five star will get you to the end of this end of the second stitch tower. Now I think that's that's easily doable. I did it within a couple of months within just using a few gems on the refreshes. When you get double token pools for farming, and then using my my stitch tower tokens on Gantu, when it got me up to the fifth star and getting me to that next point, so this time I could progress up to there. Now, since buying more more of his tokens, fifteen tokens right now for me is not going to get me anywhere. It's going to get me to about 40 tokens, which is still not even halfway to the 85. And there's no point spending the stitch tokens when it's not going to get me anything good. So I might as well save them if I'm not getting, unlocking the next set of rewards, if I'm, it's not going to get me further. There's no point me spending for now. Who knows, maybe but by, by the time this tower ends and the next one starts, maybe we'll get another two times pull event. Maybe uh, I'll get some super lucky three pulls, which I haven't got at all. I'm, I usually get zero or one, which is just frustrating. But in saying that, who knows? Maybe my odds will change. Maybe my pulls will get better. And if I can, and if I can get to the next level without spending my stitch coins, there's really no point for me spending my coins there. Then I could potentially then save them for bubbles. And potentially purchase some bubbles to get him to the next stage if he is close. So so what I'm getting at here is, I'm sure you can all see by now, is that if you're not getting to the next stage, save it until you can get to the next stage. And that's going to be likewise for, for Captain Gantu as well as bubbles. Now bubbles is a top tier the very top tier support character he is amazing and he is very worth your grand campaign farming energy now there is a caveat to that because there is a lot of characters that you maybe want to farm like the frozen 
characters and bubbles and you're gonna have to choose what you're doing first don't get distracted with whatever your priority is finish those ones off then move to that but this is where you can save up your stitch tower coins enough that i wouldn't spend any because bubbles is different to gantu gantu you need him at all the different stages one two three four five star bubbles you only need him for six star and seven star anything below that is trash you can't use him you're not going to progress anything in the event because you don't need him until he's required at six star which i think is a bit but hey um it it is just a grind at that point so for me i have to get gantu and bubbles both to six star to progress in the next halfway up the next tower so that is that is my focus at the moment but because i can't get them there there's no point in me spending my coins now if and as i mentioned if i can get myself there with energy by the time the next one starts i might as well also save my save my coins until i've got enough to take them both to seven star there's no point spending unless you can get them both from from six star onwards there's no point taking one to six or seven star if you're not doing the other one this is in relates, relation to the event. Now, if you want to use one as a character for itself and you're fully investing in him, then take it fully to 7 star. Get them in there as fast as you can and hopefully that helps you with your main team. But outside of that, uh, no point spending until you it's going to get you just that enough to take you up to the next stage on both of those two characters. And outside of that, save for stitch this is pretty much the only way you can get stitch tokens is here through through the event chests and through the event milestones the personal and club milestones so he is a limited you can only get a handful of his uh, tokens each time so nearly getting mine up to the next stage which is which is cool and it'll he'll probably get there after the next club uh, after the next club rewards next event but in saying that you, you're going to want to get the Captain Gantu and Bubbles maxed first because then you're going to get more tokens and more rewards that you can then spend in the shop and then my personal once you've got those two maxed this is if you have got Gantu and Bubbles maxed put them all into Stitch Stitch is, Stitch is going to be amazing now he has got a great kit. He's 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 gonna be kind of on par, similar to the likes of Dash. He's just got an amazing kit. He's gonna keep. He's gonna be like an anti-meta character. So not much like a full meta character like Dash, but he's gonna be more of an anti-meta. He's gonna be able to shut down the Gantus. He's gonna be able to shut down the heroes. He's gonna be able to shut down the uh, the Dashes. So. In that sense, he is going to be very high up, highly wanted, highly anticipated. And then when more characters come that get charges, he is going to be wanted. He's also going to be amazing for characters like Zerg, Mickey, uh, any other characters that do multiple hits. Because if they do low damage multiple hits, he heals at each time and, get, and gains MP. So... For these reasons, he is going to be amazing. I've done a showcase on him if you want to go and check that out. So go and look back in my videos, Stitch Showcase, and you'll be able to see some of these things in action. But, but in saying that, those are going to be your first two lot of priorities. So the people who are still trying to progress in Tower, go for the, the Gantu and the Bubbles. When, only when, it's going to take you up to the next stage. Then, once you've got them maxed, you're going to be in the, the running for just getting Stitch as much as you can, as much as you can consistently to max Stitch out because he is going to do you amazing. And then, only then, I would go down. Now, from here, you've got a choice. Is Do you want to get some of these characters? Which I personally think, if you're at the stage of maxing all of those other characters, I personally think none of these characters here are too important. Um... You can get you can get uh, mythical characters right right there if you need them to progress, but you can also get them in so many of the other packs 
that and farm them also you can go farm a character that you need with the other exchanges with like the tournament exchange and everything else so i would say that will be where where you'd want to do that you wouldn't want to do that here honestly after you've got your ah so after you've got these top three event characters maxed i would fully 100 percent go all in on the gear and the the value for gear here is get what you need to level characters up but in saying that if we're looking at the value of how much we are getting for these so all of these thorns whistles lightnings needles are all 5k 5k for five so they're 1000 each now the droplets on the other hand are 4000 for five so there are what 800 each which is which is pretty decent and then you're going to go further on down 2500 for for five here or 3000 for 10 now honestly these are all cheap enough in the club exchange if you uh, want if you haven't ever seen any of my exchange videos go and check out my exchange guides and my what the best what are the best purchases in exchange because i think that'll help you a whole lot more um but pretty much they are there is a super cheap value here at the bottom of the club exchange that there's no point getting any of these from from there now but the value you can get is definitely is definitely going to be more up with getting some of the the needed the necessary droplets or or the the thorns thistles linings and corals all of those for what you need to continue to progress your characters so so if you're in a fortunate enough position eventually to get there i know a lot of us won't be there'll be some people that are then i would say go for these now i would personally probably go for the wispy droplets because you need so many of them and you just don't get enough of them from anywhere else and you can honestly probably I'm finding that I can probably farm enough of these just with my energy. I spend my energy on the most expensive ones. And likewise, you can get them from other places like the Seven Star Exchange and and the likes. So I find it hard to keep up with, with, with the drops, the droplets for Wispy the most. Because you're chewing through 70 of them per piece of gear. And you're going to need about three per per character if not four for some so those would definitely be my key purchase and then just pretty much purchase what you need to upgrade and only go from there but i'd only choose for out of those two rows for what you are needing what you're short of so that being said i hope this has helped this has been helpful useful for people especially for sometimes people are tempted to go oh well, i want to max out all of my characters Honestly, you'll get there. You will get there. Like, I haven't maxed out S Sally. She's one of the few characters I haven't maxed out. And I'm just not in a rush. There's, there's no event for her. She is a great character, but I still don't have the gear to gear up all the other characters that I want. So there's no point for me to go after her. And that's why I'm saying gear is going to be more important. Whereas the whereas the the event exclusive characters you need these characters for these events as well as speedstone events and other events and then stitch is just going to be so good and so limited that you want to be maxing and, and maximizing his pulls here so so that is that is the thought behind all of this and eventually you'll get to the stage where you'll you'll end up picking up all these other characters from farming when you've maxed the other characters that you need from the other exchanges when you've maxed those from those exchanges and you can pick them up wherever else that you need them that i probably wouldn't spend this limited currency on them um when you are short on gear for so many other characters now if you're not short on gear for so many other characters then hey spend up however you want but i don't think that's going to be the case for like 99 percent of the people if not more so anyway i hope this has been a helpful just a little insight into the stitch tower exchange and hopefully you guys are all progressing well i'd love to hear your guys progress in the towers let me know down in the comments below 
uh, where your gantu's at, where your bubbles is at, and how how good are you chugging along with stitch? So I know I know some people in our club ha- have got six star stitches, cozy gamer, uh, and a few others. So so there are people out there using him and they're loving him. And I 100% could see that from his kit and from me even using him at lower levels and doing the showcase on him that he is by far going to be worth it as a character. So at that, I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you and check in it use with you all down below. So get, get down. Let me know how you're going.